Hi guys, hope you all have an amazing day. Uh, I'm standing here in KL Central. It's a train station here, and we are actually going to Penang today from Kuala Lumpur. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys not only the train ride, but also that we're gonna sit in business class. That's right, we're gonna sit in business class and show you what the business class experience is like on the train from Kuala Lumpur to Penang. And one of the perks also is the fact that we get to use their um, uh, business class lounge. It's called the Ruby Lounge, and we're gonna show you guys what it's like to be in the business class lounge here at KL Central. So let's go check out the lounge. All right, here we are, guys. We are here in the business lounge. Pretty cool, really quiet and private. There's not many people here yet. We just got here, so I'll show you. This is the view down to the train station here. And then over here, they actually have a elevator that takes you down to the platform for your train. And over here, they have, I believe, coffee and water. So yeah, so they have a uh, white coffee, Milo, and uh, Tateric. Oh, look at that. I'll try the white coffee first. Oops, oops, oops. Almost messed up. <laughs> it's in the middle. <laughs> look at that, guys. Ooh, that's good. There it is. White coffee. So, KL Central is the main hub here for a lot of the trains. So, you can get the express train from the airport that comes here, and also you can take the trains that go also to uh, Penang. All right, here it is, my coffee, the lounge. Oh, my coffee, mm, it's pretty good actually. A lot stronger than I expected. Yeah, sweet though, but strong too. <laughs> All right, now we wait. This is what the train looks like. And we are in the A car. And this is A. Here we go. All right, we're down here, guys. Here it is. We are here. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys this train. Um, right now, it has outlets. So you have a plug in here, outlet here. And also, you have an outlet over there. Also, you got a lot of leg room. Oh, it looks like. There you go. This is a lot of leg room, guys. More than a plane. Look at this. Amazing. Also, it has um, some reclining feature here, so you can recline the seat back. Here you go, recline back. Oh. <laughs> oh, it has an adjustable kind of head breast. Then it has a feature here. I believe this is, what is this? You got to pull this out. Okay, there you go. There's a TV monitor. Look at that, you can see me. I believe this is where it has the tray. There you go. There you go. So, get my work done, and also you can have eat on the tray. All right. I'll say there's little handy hooks here. You can hang your coat or jacket, just like airline has the safety features here. This is the business class. It has a two-one configuration of the seating, and this is the only car that has the business class, so we're not full. But I'll show you more of this train later. So you can actually order food here from the monitor and then they'll take your order and you can pay when they deliver it. They are taking off on time. I mean, they are very punctual here. Okay, guys, they are coming with some coffee. So we're getting that tray ready. <laughs> there you go, tray. Look at that, here it is. Boom, the tray's ready. Hello. Tea, coffee? Uh, yes, coffee, please. Coffee. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Just like flying first class. Coffee and a muffin. This looks really good. It's really soft. All right, guys, here it is. Red velvet muffin. All right. 
This is a great snack. Wonderful snack. Mm. Black coffee. Uh, oh, wow. I feel like I'm in first class already. Well, business class. Mm. I don't know how much this is worth, but it's worth a lot to me right now. Mm. Oh, we have a stop. So they do stop along the way to uh, Penang, so pick up more people. All right, it looks like there's six cars on this train and they have the beverage um, and food car in C. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the bathroom looks like and also maybe walk up to the front car, number C, and show you guys the beverage car. All right, guys, let's see if I can show you this. I don't think anybody's in here, so let's go ahead and show you the bathroom real quick. This is the bathroom. Pretty clean. Yeah, window open, fresh air. There you go, that's the bathroom. <laughs> also, let me go see if I can show you the garbage car. Right. Here's the garbage car. Hot meals. It's like they have this kind of stuff here for purchase. Yeah. Tea, coffee. There you go. Right. Awesome. Hey, thank you. Look at this, guys. They're bringing some lunch. Hello. Hi. Hi. So today we have your lunch, so we have nasi biryani with chicken. Okay. Is it okay? Wonderful, thank you. So this is your rice, and this is your mineral water. Alright, thank you. Look at it, guys. Wow, this is amazing. Nice and warm. Alright guys, the big reveal. There it is. Oh, this looks really good. You got some rice, got some veggies, and you got some curry here. Let me go ahead and uh, pull up some of this curry. It looks like it's chicken here. Yeah, that's chicken. Very nice. Big piece of chicken. Also, we got some mixed veggies here. And then we got some biryani rice. Look at that. Let me try um, some of this chicken with the rice here. Look at that. Put it here with the rice. Try this with the the rice and the chicken. Oh, the sauce looks really amazing. Oh wow. Wow. That sauce is amazing. It's a little bit of heat. It's a little bit sweet. A little bit um, tart. This chicken is super tender. Oh, I'll put the sauce on my rice here. Hold on. Look at this guys. You need to put the sauce on the sauce on the rice here. This sauce is amazing. Sambal, no? The sambal? Mmm, could be sambal. Yeah, look at this. Ooh. This is just as good as any restaurant you go to. Mm. Mm. It's about four and a half hour ride. We left about 11.08. Supposed to arrive around 3.35. So, about four and a half hours for this train ride. It's a little bit shaky. We're getting a little bit of motion here. At the same time, not too bad. Also, nice and cool here and have AC on. The food's really good. The staff is really nice. And it's just making time go by really fast. I mean, we're eating lunch. We had a snack earlier. This is a lot of fun. Also, gotta try some of these veggies. Mmm. Not what I expected. A little bit the different sauce, but a little bit sweeter. Also, it's like cold vegetables, so it's not like, I thought it was going to be warm, but it's not. Carrots and cucumbers in here. It's like almost like a, a pickled veggies, almost like. Right? Pickled vegetables. So it's kind of nice to have that little bit of vinegary pickled flavor, along with the spicy um, sambal sauce and the rice. Biryani on rice goes really well with this. More sauce, please, right here. Put on the rice. You don't even need chicken, you can just have some sauce and rice. Wow. Yeah. Was able to get a little work done. Now we're having some lunch and then we'll go back to some more editing.
All right, and we're still headed in here, and they are coming by with some snacks. <laughs> this, this is a never-ending process. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see what's inside. There it is. Look at that, guys. All right, so we have first item, salted peanuts. And then next item is more salted peanuts. And then you have trick box. And finally, you have a Kit Kat. Man, I haven't had one of these juice boxes in ages. Let's see if I don't spill this on myself. There you go, juice box. Yep, artificial sweetness. Snack of peanuts. All right, there you go. Really good. Mm. So if you're looking to uh, travel from Kuala Lumpur to Penang by flying, if you look at time-wise, you have to go, you know, from the train down to the airport. It takes about an hour uh, from the train. And then you have to then also get there early. You have to wait, check in, the flight time. I mean, you look at literally about the same amount of time versus going to, to the train station and taking this train here. So if you have time on your side, take the train. It's a lot more comfortable. You got a lot more space. And it's, it's really enjoyable, you know. A lot of space not only in the seating but also move around <laughs> they give you probably more food than you get on the plane so yeah i'm, I'm enjoying it here mm, oh also we have kit kat seriously guys when's the last time i had a kit kat i think it's been ages wow it has been ages the kit kats get sweeter i don't know it's really sweet The train right here, the outside view of the train is really cool. And you have palm trees, mountains, scenery, really pretty. Okay, that is our ride from KL to Penang. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, we had a lot of fun. It was a really smooth, easy ride. And also the food is pretty good and the staff was really friendly on the train and uh, yeah, we had a great experience. So I would highly recommend if you do decide to come to Penang, take the train from KL. Oh, just to let you know also, the train does not go to Penang directly. It goes to Butterworth, which is the mainland. And when you get to Butterworth, the train station there, they basically have signs that tell you directly how to get to the ferry just by walking over there. And the ferry boat ride is like a 10 minute ferry boat ride across the canal to Penang Island. So yeah, really easy. Oh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's video. And if you liked today's video, be sure to give a thumbs up and a like. And as always, guys, I appreciate your support. And we'll see you back in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.